Hello friend, I've just released the 3.3 version of the DJ Megaset Pro. We have some new features and there's some bug fixes. I've also released the Automaton as a separate module so if you're interested in just that you can now get it by itself, more on that in a minute. And I've also updated the DJ Deck Strip with the following changes. Let's go through them right now. So firstly, quite a requested feature, we have fixed window locations. Let me op open up Deck 2, Deck 3, and Deck 4. Now these are where I want them to be, but let's say I want to move them somewhere else, over here. I'm now going to click on the save button. Now whenever I open this project file, that window is going to remember where it was and open up in that exact spot. So you never have to reposition everything once you open your project for the first time. It might seem like a minor thing, but I think it's quite a big deal. The other change is over in the effects area, you'll see we have a new record and clear button. So there's now a new internal memory that can remember your parameter changes and then play them back. So this is quantized. Now when I click on record, it's going to punch in, much like the looper, and when I change some parameters and then punch it out, it's going to repeat that back to me as a loop. So let's try that. Let's bring the amount up on this delay. Turn the effects on. Now I'm going to punch it in. Let's punch it out. And you'll see that's remembered what I did. And it's going to play it back. If you don't want it to happen anymore, just click on clear. Now this is really handy. I've used this a couple of times now in DJ sets that I've been playing out. And this was a big problem for me was having to turn knobs in time to the music or, you know, just repeating something cool that I'd figured out with the effects over and over and over. The LFO section is good if you want a fixed shape to move particular parameters, but I find this way is a lot more efficient in a live situation. That's pretty much it for the deck strip. You'll also notice that the titles here have been changed to on-off buttons. This is just a little cob cosmetic thing to help with screen space. Now let's move over to the automaton. First I've got to send the audio there. Let's send E, I'm going to bring that up. We'll bring the gain down so just the automaton is playing. Let's scroll across so we can see it. Move this over here. And you'll notice the first thing is the automaton has a slightly changed uh, root panel. So we have the main window here, if I click on open, but we also have a default parameters section. This is so you can set the default parameter for all 64 of the individual nodes. And we have a track assignment panel. This is so you can assign where each one of those different tabs will go and change the effects on. So let's open up the automaton. There's been a bit of a general tidy as well. You'll see it's a lot more neater and quite a bit has gone on behind the scenes to make this nice and smooth. So let's just go ahead and play with the delay again. Let's just bring the dry wet and up, up and down. And let's bring the feedback up quite high. Come down here with the curve. And let's play with the time. We'll give it a bit more resolution here. I need to start that clip playing again. So you can see the time is obviously very, very slow. So that's it for the automaton changes. Now just to show you the automaton working on its own, I'm going to open up the automaton 1.0 project. If you have purchased the DJ Megaset Pro 3, you will be able to have access to this individual component, or you can get it by itself for a much cheaper price. Link will be in the description. Let's just wait for this project to load. So this is handy for you to be able to use this in your own live templates or your own productions. You'll see in this particular project file I have a source audio which is where we need to drag some kind of source. Let's do that now. Um, 
don't click on any of these because I will get copy striked. Uh, let's just go loop. I've got a fresh install here, so um, hopefully we can get a nice... Why not? Let's see what happens here. I'm going to click, it, click play on this. And you see it's being fed into the automaton. The way we do this is by selecting the audio 2 of the source audio to send to the first chain in the group in the auto or automaton um, groupings over here. So these can be your own effects, remember. The secret is to make sure that there's eight macros on each of these eight tracks because the automaton is going to be controlling each of those eight macros. As we go through the different pages here, you'll see we can change each of those individual effects. Let's just clear everything. So there we go. If you want to save this to your own project, you can simply just save the automaton device by clicking save and that will save it into your library. You just need to make sure that after it, you have a group which has eight tracks in it and each one of those tracks has a rack with eight macros. So there we go. That's the update. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Also, if you have any feature requests for future versions of the DJ Mega Set, the DJ Deck Strip, the Automaton, or any other devices that are contained within the DJ Mega Set, make sure you subscribe to Mr. Bill.